everyone welcome back to the channel it is a Kefloos here and today we are gonna be continuing our playthrough of mass effect 3 here on my channel so as usual if you guys are gonna enjoy it you know what to do leave a like in this video hit that big red sub button down below i'll be grateful and appreciative of your support but most importantly you won't miss when i upload the next episode here on my channel so with that out of the way let's jump right back in and let's get things started by continuing where we left off which is on the back of a successful completion of the leviathan dlc mission and i have to say that was one of the best dlcs ever in my opinion in the entire trilogy um you know mass effect one we had pinnacle station and we had bring down the sky that was okay mass effect two i believe we had the um um yeah i don't i don't know what doc mass effect two had um no I, I i i know we have a doc i i have a doc installed but i can't remember the name so um, we're just gonna skip that for now um let's just uh, jump into mass factory and in mass factory we have three particular docs we've already completed leviathan uh, we've completed the one before that which was a what was it even i can't remember that um omega there we go omega so those two were fun but the third one is gonna be cool as well but we're gonna leave that for last because um chronologically speaking to me it makes sense to do the third one uh, towards the end of this game so we're gonna leave that for later for now though what we are gonna do is um, we're gonna head back to the citadel first i know that we have to go ahead and actually move on into the you know what let me just show you it's much easier if i show you so let's pull up the galaxy map first so our next um, target, our next uh, direction, our next trajectory, our next goal is to actually head into the far rim over here and speak with the Quarians. So if that name sounds familiar to you, the Quarians, um, we've actually met them in Mass Effect 2. For those of you who are just joining us, of course, you might not be familiar. Um, the Quarians are a race of aliens in Mass Effect 1. Um, in the Mass Effect trilogy, I should say. We first met them in Mass Effect 1. And... Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and speak to them in this next mission, this next storyline mission. But we're gonna belay that for now because what I wanna do is I wanna head back to the Citadel first because I believe we have to go ahead and speak to a couple of NPCs. This is very important because I wanna make sure that we have a perfect playthrough and ideally everyone survives, uh, as many people survive as, uh, as possible. So yeah, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna head back to the Citadel first. We're gonna leave that uh, main storyline mission for now. And we're probably gonna go ahead and speak to a couple of NPCs if need be. So I tell you what, I'm gonna head back to the Citadel first and I still need to show you the email actually you know what I'll do it right now since we have time why not so I just want to check and see who do we have to speak to real quick I believe we have to speak to two people at this point I'm not really sure if um, you know one conversation is necessary but I know the other one is vital so um, let's see let's see who do we have who do we have game night with Samantha train I believe I've done this already if I'm not mistaken. I actually can't remember. Um, <laughs> this is what happens when you check your email off camera. I wanted to check it out first um, so that, you know, I'm well informed before I start this particular um, segment so that I don't fumble, basically. But um, I can't remember where is the email. But, okay, you know what? I tell you what. Just forget that. Fuck that. What we're going to do is we're going to head back to the Citadel first. And um, I'll tell you who do we speak to by pulling up the Citadel map or something so yeah we're gonna have a map like this and we can scroll through so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back to the i'll pull up that map and i'll i'll tell you who do we speak to all right lads, so here we are on the citadel and we are here in the presidium commons i took the liberty of advancing ahead just to save you guys some time and the first person we're gonna speak to is actually over here uh, miranda she's in the apartments block so she's behind us um somewhere in one of these rooms here i'm very sure there's a couple of rooms there that we can speak to um well not speak to rooms but we can enter uh, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and find her and we're gonna speak to her i believe at this point this conversation is vital because there's gonna be a segment later on where you know potentially she can die but uh, the idea to make sure that she keeps uh, we keep her alive is to speak to her we've already spoken to her once during the first time that she's requested uh, to speak to us here on the citadel so um, i'm not really sure if you missed that can you just you know carry on where you left off here but I'm, I'm not really sure. I've actually never tried that. I've never tried skipping the first conversation. It's very hard to miss the first conversation. She's pretty much standing around this, uh, um, you know, some sort of railing. And you can just, you know, it, it's very hard to miss her. That's what I'm trying to say. But for this particular second conversation, we're going to have to speak to her in one of these rooms. And I believe she should be in this one over here, right? Yeah, I think that's the only one. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I because I can't really see this uh, green, you know, indicator on the... Um, rooms over there so i believe this should be the only one um that you know uh, that, that 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 has access that, that that permits us access and i believe she should be behind this one okay so enough and en en enough rambling what we're gonna do is we're gonna head in and uh let's hope she's behind here and let's hope the conversation uh, occurs 
I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. Okay, I think we're just gonna give it to her. I'm not really sure if the renegade option is, uh, uh, you know, blocks it out. But just to be safe, we're gonna go with the Paragon route and say, yeah, we're gonna, we, we trust you. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Apology accepted. We can't change the past, and we have enough to deal with right now. Yes, we do. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. All right, so that was it. That was the second conversation, Miranda. Um, you'll, you'll find out what that thing is later on. It has some tie-ins to the storyline. I'm not going to reveal anything for now because, you know, spoiler, spoiler. So um, pretty much you'll find out later on. But um, yeah, to be honest with you, that conversation, eh, not really too important if you ask me. Just, it, you know, it provides some decent Paragon and Renegade points. I could have easily done it off camera, but I thought it was important just to highlight that, um, you know, having that conversation basically just, you know, uh, locks in the the odds of Miranda surviving the uh, event so yeah if, for those of you who are playing Mass Factory and Legendary Edition and you know you're looking for a perfect playthrough and you want ideally all your you know all everyone to survive um, you're gonna have to do this conversation and the first one of course I'm not really sure if you can skip the first one but um, I'm not even sure if the second one appears this one appears if you skip the first one but yet yeah, on the safe side just do all the conversations that's the uh, that's the general rule so anyway um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and speak to let's see let's see let's see I believe we have to speak to Jacob um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go and speak to Jacob here in Huerta Memorial. I'm not really sure if his, um, you know, his dialogue, his conversation is important. I, yeah, I'm, I'm very blur on that. It's a, it's, it's. I'm very unaware of that. But um, I tell you what, you know what I'll do. 
I'll go ahead and speak to Jacob first. Um, if you know, if the conversation sounds a bit too boring and nothing much really occurs, what I'll do is I'll probably just cut it out, um, jump back to the ship, and then we're probably just gonna fly out of here. Cause you know, I understand not all of you are here for dialogue, so I'm gonna try to make sure that we skip out on the ones that aren't really too important, and we just um, showcase the ones that are very, very vital for um, the, the the longevity of the playthrough. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll see you guys uh, in a second. Okay, guys, I am back and. And uh, yeah, obviously I'm back in the Normandy. So as I said, um, I would have skipped the conversation with Jacob if it wasn't fruitful. And to be honest with you, um, <laughs> I know there's a lot of memes in the Mass Effect community that um, you know Jacob, one of the most boring characters, but uh, you know. He, he didn't really do any justice to he, he didn't really do anything to disprove that theory and uh, well not that theory that statement that claim but <laughs> uh, yeah so here we are after what was uh, you know just some formal discussion or something but you know it's it, it, it wasn't important that's why I decided you know let's just cut up cut it out save us some minutes and um, let's get back to the main storyline so anyway we are here in the Normandy uh, but more specifically we are in the far rim system I've took I've taken the liberty of advancing ahead into the far rim just to uh, you know what let me just pull up the mask really just to show to you so um yeah here we are in the far rim and pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and speak to the quarian so that requires us heading up to this quarian envoy ship here and i believe we can enter orbit if i can just get into the um, general area so let's go ahead hit enter orbit and i believe um, there should be a dock option right yeah there we go so we're gonna hit dock and let's start this mission commander shepherd a pleasure to see you again though i wish it were under better circumstances I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Talizora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. 
We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Alright, cool. So looks like we have our next heading. So the priority uh, gift dreadnought, as you can see from underneath here. And we've already met our latest... Um, I hope I hope I hope at this point it's going to be a new squad mate because um, you've already met who that uh, you know the Corin we were speaking to earlier, um, Tally Zora. That was one of our old squad mates from Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 1. A very very good squad mate and of course a very very reliable squad mate to have. So yeah, she's going to be a tech specialist as well. Um, so for I'm, I'm you know for the squad balance it's there. But yeah, I, I'm just more excited with the uh, you know with with how with how everything is playing out because we're reaching into the point with the story where um, you know everything. Lots of lots of tensions are boiling over. So in terms of um, you know story and uh, basically the, the the lore of Mass Effect, it's just getting very very much immersed, and I'm just excited for this one. But um, for the most part, we're gonna have to leave things here. Um, you know, we're already 15 minutes in this episode. We're running out of time real quick, real soon. So yeah, I believe we've done a lot today as well. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 there's a lot to digest. So for some of you who are out there who are new, of course, to the series, um, you you know all this might be gibberish to you right now. But you know, just just this hold on for a second um you know just keep watching and i believe you know you'll you'll understand the full picture eventually but um for those of you who are of course returning fans uh, you know you've played mass factory before uh, this is the part where it gets exciting a lot of familiar terms you hear right now um stuff like what gef uh, legion of course who can forget legion from mass effect 2 amazing character but um yeah we're gonna have to leave all that for the next episode because there just isn't enough time so if you guys enjoyed this uh, particular episode of mass factory you know what to do leave a like on this video and if you enjoyed this series hit that big red sub button down below so that you're notified and you know when i upload the next episode here on my channel this is a signing off and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.